اقرأ باسم ربك الذي خلق السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Today we will continue our discussion on Juzu for 27 uh, is a continuation of uh, previous uh, Juzu 26 Alhamdulillah um, our discussion uh, will be focusing on seven suwar um, although there are many what we call it uh, in terms of uh, the division of the suwar uh, comprises of uh, Surah Al-Zaryat Surah uh, An-Nur, uh, Surah At-Tur, Surah An-Najm, Surah uh, Al-Qamar, Surah Rahman, Surah Al-Waqi'ah and also Surah Al-Hadid. But in terms of uh, the unity of team, I would rather say that uh, for for today's discussion, Juzud 27, will we go back a little bit uh, one surah, that is Surah Qaf. Yeah? Surah 50 and it goes straight up to Surah uh, Waqi'ah, Surah 56. Yeah? All in all, yeah, uh, in a glance, we can see that it comprises about 445 verses and you can imagine again, there are many informations that we can gather for the purpose of our uh, leading our life to Jannah, inshallah. So, um, from Surah Qaf, yeah, Surah Qaf up to Surah uh, Al-Waqi'ah, It speaks uh, um, about uh, the belief in Allah, the concept of Tawheed, and also belief in Yawmul Qiyamah. So what do we do with all these uh, verses? So let's see one by one as a proof that it speaks on uh, Yawmul Qiyamah. For example, uh, we can see that, uh, by the way, this, the, all these surah were revealed in Makkah, uh, only a portion of Surah Ar-Rahman that been revealed in Medina. So in the scale of uh, 10, um, I would say that uh, the situation at Makkah at that time, during the, those revelation, the revelation of those seven suar, the scale is about three, whereby uh, in today's context, we call it as Islamophobia. The people of Quraysh in particular, disagreed with Prophet at the level of three and it will pick up later on to higher level when it goes uh, to the other surah whereby it requires the Prophet to move to uh, to have uh, this hijrah uh, so that later on Al-Quran will be revealed in Medina. So okay uh, for the discussion on Surah Al-Qaf yeah, uh, and uh, up to Surah as I said earlier Surah Al-Waqi'ah it speaks about hereafter and for example in Surah <coughs> Qaf, it speaks about in specific Jannah and Nar. Yeah? Uh, surah, uh, same also with Surah Zariyat, it speaks also about um, about hell, about Nar is our choice to, 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 to choose. And so also it goes together to Tur Najm, Surah Al Najm, Surah Qamar, Surah Al Rahman, and Surah Al Waqi'ah. All it speaks about Nar and, and, and also uh, Jannah. So we go now uh, with this information in hand, what do we do? So what are our responsibility then? Yeah? So okay, we will go briefly uh, with regard to Surah Qaf. For example, in Surah Qaf, what is actually speaks about Qaf? Qaf begins with the information that Al-Quran is a noble revelation from Allah Ta'ala. However, Quraysh at that time, yeah, this doubted, The, the, uh, that Al-Quran comes from Allah Ta'ala and doubted that prof- the prophethood of Prophet Muhammad. And what more when, when Prophet Muhammad is speaking, was speaking on the issue of hereafter. Yeah? So the same thing that Allah explained further with regard to surah, uh, uh, the next surah, that is Surah Al-Zariyat, which we know very well that Surah Al-Zariyat uh, that we, for students here and also for staff, it speaks about on the Uh, responsibility of uh, Muslim as a whole, uh, for example, in Surah 50, uh, verse uh, 56, yeah, from Surah Al-Zariyat, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنْ وَالْإِنْسِ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُنْ Meaning to say that uh, Allah Ta'ala created us with specific purpose, that is to worship Him or to serve Him in terms of our life is for the purpose of seeking His Mardatillah. So it goes on also in Surah uh, At-Tur. Uh, interestingly, again, when we talk about the explanation of Surah uh, Zariyat, 
Surah Tur, Surah An-Najmal, and also Surah Al-Qamar, uh, Allah begins with oath. What do we mean by oath? Or in Arabic, we call it as qasam. Qasam here, it talks about uh, the position of uh, zariyat win, or we call it winner win, that brings, uh, or we call it good, happy, uh, good information and also bad information. At the same time, tour, it, sp- it speaks about uh, what we call it mountain, mountain which uh, specifically or indicating strength. And as Najmun, uh, as Surah An Najmun star, and so also Kamar. All these four uh, surah uh, uh, is actually uh, reflected the uh, objective, eh? reflected the uh, information in terms of God's creation, so that He, he uh, Allah Taala, put it in terms of uh, what we call it um, metaphor. What do you mean by that? So let's see what we have uh, to speak on this. I go again uh, with regard to Surah uh, Al-Dhariyat. Now when we talk about Surah Al-Dhariyat, the, the, the theme is, is actually what comes from the sky. Yeah? Uh, with the, uh, through the, what comes from the sky that uh, enliven the soil and also provide varieties of fruits for all of us to benefit are all in the form of physical sustenance from Allah. Now, what about spiritual sustenance? When we talk about spiritual sustenance, wahyu is also from Allah Ta'ala, from heaven, by which that speaks on, on the guidance that we Muslim has to follow, and also uh, um, the regulation or, or what we call it, the way that we should be submitting to him so that we will be living peacefully uh, and also, inshallah, in future, lead to our, our life to Jannah. So now, with this zariyat also, um, meaning to say that Allah Ta'ala informed us that win uh, it can be interpreted into four dimensions. First, we talk about wind that bring or blasted like in this in this surah, it talks about being blasted for eight days, seven nights on the on the people of Ait for rejecting faith. This is number one. The second one it talks about winds that bring happiness. Uh, for example, in the form of giving the information uh, on on uh, which Al Quran used the term aqim. Aqim means barren. Uh, whereby uh, it good information in the form of similarity uh, in the form of angel, whereby angel came to see uh, Prophet Ibrahim and also Sarah. Uh, both of them are old, but because of this um, giving good information, uh, though they are barren, they are able to uh, conceive a baby. So in the end, we came to know that uh, Sarah will be, uh, com- uh, what do you call it, carrying baby by the name of, inshallah, eh, in future, as the name of Ishaq, then we know that's prophet of Ishaq. Eh? And another aqim is that, but this is a negative one, whereby um, upon this uh, blast uh, on the people of Ad, um, we, we found that the uh, people of Ad could not get any uh, zuriat at all, or any uh, they become barren because of the severity of the blast of the wind. So having said that, what do we do with all this information? The next surah move on that, that talk about Tur, Tur or mountain. Again, it signifies the strength. This it speaks about the event of Prophet Musa and family. It is actually related to uh, it goes up strength and it will not waver. But the theme of this surah, as I have said earlier, it talks about the uh, nobility, nobility of, of um, uh, what we call it, Al-Quran. It will never change yeah? because Allah Ta'ala mentioned in other verse that says, Nahnu nazzalna zikra wa inna lahu laha fizur. We are the one who sent the, the reminder and we are the one who going to protect it. So, tour here, it means it is a, a form of metaphor that, uh, uh, what we call it, to, com- to, to, to indicate that the strength, just like tour, so also um, uh, the verses of Al-Quran will stay put, inshallah, by the will of Allah. So, we have the role to play into that to make it relevant into this context. Yeah? Now, move on also to uh, Surah an najmu Surah an najmu is again uh, talking on the issue of uh, victory. 
victory in the sense that it be victory uh, information given to Prophet Muhammad alaihi salam whereby he um, Allah uh, inform uh, revelation is is real and not illusion at the same time also it is huda or guidance uh, that leads to jannah walhawa or evil desire lead us to nar so what do we do with this now so to to uh, to become uh, to make it uh, what you got some kind of of motivation to prophet muhammad alaihi salam uh, tour here it talks about future victory whereby uh, prophet muhammad alaihi salam and his uh, companion Uh, will be succeeding in the uh, uh, battle that we found in history, Battle of Badar. Move on to Surah An-Najmu. Surah An-Najmu, uh, again, it speaks on the further uh, highest level of victory that man can experience is that the issue of uh, Isra' wa Mi'raj. Here in Surah An-Najmu, it talks about Ma'nawi, uh, uh, the victory in, uh, to Prophet Muhammad A.S after he has been um, severely, uh, what do you call it, attacked or severely, be, uh, aggressively uh, attacked by the Mushrikun of Makkah for not for not believing uh, the, the concept of hereafter. So, um, in Surah An-Najmu uh, just now, uh, sorry, in Surah At-Tur, it talks about Baitul Ma'mur. But now in Surah An-Najmu, Allah mentions specifically that Allah uh, the Prophet Muhammad alaihi salam will be moving up uh, ascent in this this event of Isra Mi'raj higher up there up to Sidratul Muntaha so alhamdulillah this will be uh, the, the greatest uh, what successful the, the greatest uh, information that we can share with regard to surah an najm goes go on to surah qamar again it talks about victorious previous of the prophet who follow the uh, successful uh, following the teaching of prophet and it goes on uh, here reminder walaqad tarakna ayatan fahal mim mudakir again it goes on as a reminder walaqad yassarna alquran li dhikri fahal mim mudakir so we have indeed made quran easy to understand uh, remember then is there any that will receive admonition So with that, it goes on again to Surah Ar-Rahman. This one vividly Allah mentioned on the characteristic of the, the Jannah. And so also in Surah Waqiyah, is just opposite of uh, Jannah. So what do we do with all this? So it's a, it's a reminder for all of us that life, we have to fulfill our responsibility in the spirit of wa ma khalaqtu jinn wal is illa liya'budun therefore Our objective is to meet him in the hereafter to live happily, insha'Allah. With this, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.